Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Today I'm going to be doing tips and knots. I'm going to start off with doing a figure of eight or a centurion knot. Today I'm going to be using a big hook and some thick nylon to do the knot presentation. Okay, very simply, for the centurion knot or the figure of eight, take your hook, insert the nylon from the bottom up, and I'm going to be doing this very slowly guys. I always use my finger, it's just so much easier. Wrap it around the finger and go behind the nylon, and that's the important part to go behind the nylon. And you just go around once, twice, three times, and back through the back. It's as simple as that. There it is, open it up. There's your figure of eight, or centurion knot forming. Pull it together. A little bit of saliva. Pull the knot tight like so, and then just slide it down the line. Very important that you slide it. And there we go. And we just cut off the tag end. And there we go. Your figure of eight or centurion not done. I'm gonna show you another way of doing it. Okay, centurion knot. You just basically go through the eye again. Give yourself quite a bit to work with, with the tag end part of it. And all you do, instead of using your finger, is pinch it with your finger and forefinger, like that. There we go, once. Go around it again, twice, and third time. Take the tag end, and we're gonna go through the back, like that, open it up, and again, we just form the figure of eight. There's the figure of eight forming, just gonna lubricate quickly and pull the knot tight. There's your figure of eight. Now what we do with any monofilament line, once you've tied your knot, it always pays to wet it first and slide the nylon down before pulling the knot tight around the eye of the hook. There we go. And the reason we wet it before we slide it down is so that you don't burn the monofilament. Okay, centurion knot, figure of eight, two different ways of tying it. There we go guys, quick and easy as that. Okay guys, I've just shown you how to tie the centurion knot or the figure of eight with monofilament. Now I'm gonna do it with wire. I'm gonna use 200 pound uh, red bloodline on a very, very big 13-0 soy hook. Okay, the principle stays exactly the same. The only difference is you only do it twice uh, as when nylon you do it three times so to do it all we're going to do again is you work through the bottom and we go over the top I'm going to use my finger for this one and you're going to go around twice so there we go once twice and remember to go beyond the, li uh, the wire remember to go beyond the wire take your tag end and again also from beyond back out and you open it up, take your fingers, and you form your figure of eight. There we go. There's your figure of eight forming. Lubricate every time. Take these, this, these three fingers, stick it inside. And the reason you stick your fingers in there is so that you do not kink the wire at the back when you pull the knot tight. So I'm just gonna use side cutters here. There's your figure of eight pulling tight. Once again, just lubricate and slide the wire down to the end. Very important that you slide it down. You do not burn it or form any kinks in your wire doing it that way. And then guys, put it in a vise, pull it tight. Easiest way of doing it. Okay. Okay, so there we go. You can see it's nice and tight. We then cut off the tag end. So there's our figure of eight, centurion knot. 
basically tied on wire. This is nylon coated wire, and there we go.